In this quick tip we will take a look at Adobe's latest tool called Adobe Experience Design CC Preview. This is going to be the end-to-end -end solution for designing and prototyping user experiences for websites and apps on mobile devices. It allows you to switch easily from wireframing, visual design, interaction design, prototyping, preview and sharing. And the cool thing is it's all in one tool. I'm really enthusiastic about it so let's have a look inside of the app. So I'm going to start the design for an app for my school, uh, which is based on iPhone 6. So I'm going to make a new design for the iPhone 6. Well, let's start with making uh, the design of the app. Uh, I've already got some, uh, some assets in a folder. Um, so I'm going to start with a rectangle for the background of the app. And I could choose for, uh, for a color. So I'm going to uh, go for fill. Uh, choose a color and that will work. But actually I would like to have an image in the background. So I'm going to command Z, go to my folder and drag the key visual of my uh, school's uh, website inside of the rectangle and that will crop it into the rectangle. Of course I would like to add the logo of our school. The logo is an SVG uh, image. Um, I'm not going to drag it into the rectangle because that will swap my images. I'm going to put it on a pasteboard. Uh, the rule is to have a logo with a transparency in it, uh, rotated uh, 5 degrees or minus 5 degrees. And I'm going to put it in the left top corner of the app. There we go. And let's add some navigation. Uh, maybe I would like to add a menu later on. Um, so I'm going to add a menu in the top right corner of the app something like this there we go um, and I want to make uh, of course the, the, the content of the app as well so I'm gonna go to Illustrator um, and that's where I've made some basic uh, building blocks of my app which I'm gonna copy and paste because that is also possible between the apps Copy and paste it, and the cool thing is that it's all editable. So I can still double click on uh, the image, double click again, and it's still text. I could uh, could change it, whatever I would like. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to make your designs inside of Adobe Illustrator and paste it inside of uh, Experience Design, uh, well, be my guest. You're you're allowed to. So I'm going to copy the other elements as well. and build up my user interface. These purple uh, colors between the elements, well, they tell me that the space between the elements, the padding, is exactly the same amount of pixels. So that's pretty cool. There we go. So this is my first screen of my uh, GLR app, um, and it allows me to go to three separate pages at this moment. So I want to have a page for higher education, a page for K-12, and an explore more page. So let's do that one uh, at first. Let's make a new artboard and we were working with the iPhone 6 so I'm going to continue working on iPhone 6 and that gives me a new artboard to make the, uh, well let's say the higher education uh, artboard. I'm going to copy and paste uh, some elements. There we go. Let's copy and paste this header as well. I don't need this plus sign because we are already inside of the menu and I can add some information about uh, what I would like to tell. So let's make a rectangle. Let's add some text. About the courses that we've got. There are quite a lot, so I'm gonna stop for this, uh, this tutorial. Of course, I can change my typography. Um, and I'm gonna make another artboard. And I want to make another artboard based on this artboard. So I'm gonna select the artboard, press Command D, and it will duplicate my artboard. And it will give me this, uh, uh, this information. 
And of course, this is going to be K12. And there's going to be some info about K12 in this page. I think you will get the idea. And let's make the, the final page of this, uh, this app uh, way below over here. Command minus to zoom out a bit of my uh, well, flow chart actually. Let's make a new artboard. Empty one. I want to have it over here for my uh, own convenience. Because this one navigates downwards. And that will uh, give me some more information about the school. Um, so I'm going to make a rectangle again. And I'm going to add an image in there. And this is going to be an image about the exposition of our school. So let's say that I'm going to copy and paste... this over here, scale it down a bit, get rid of the plus sign, and that's content about the exposition. But in this screen I want to have multiple, uh, well let's say banners to click on uh, and go to another uh, part of the app, um, which all have the same design. So I'm going to group this, uh, this object. Um, inside of a repeat grid and a repeat grid will give me these green bars on the bottom hand side and the right hand side and when I drag and that's completely unbelievable um, it will repeat the grid that I've, uh, that I've made and I need four in this case and I can continue even outside of the screen if I would like to and when I hover over the, the padding in between of these elements I get my um, purple uh, bar again and I can alter the amount of pixels between these elements which is pretty cool as well and of course I want uh, different images uh, in these uh, rectangles so I'm gonna select my four images as a total command click inside of the finder and drag and drop it onto my repeat grid and that will give me this, uh, this view which is amazing as well and of course I can alter the text gallery so okay that's uh, that's my basic design for the uh, for the app and of course when I'm uh, ready with uh, the app when I'm satisfied I would like to uh, see the prototype of the app because this is the design tab and we've got the prototype as well um, and that allows us to make the navigation so I want this uh, this higher education um, button to go to the higher education screen there we go uh, and it gives us some options to choose from um, well, how it's gonna animate it's gonna slide left that's okay for this button this one over there and this one moves downwards um, of course I don't want this image to uh, slide to the left because we're going down so I want to uh, slide down. Okay, and I think that's okay to uh, have a first look at the app. I'm going to play the button. I'm going to preview the app. There we go. And it allows me to go to the uh, higher education. Of course, I need to go back as well. And it moves down but maybe it's better to move it upwards so let's alter these things in uh, side of the tool um, let's change this one from slide down to slide up and it can take a bit longer let's say uh, 0.6 seconds this one is okay um, so I want to go uh, back to the home page to the previous page well let's use the uh, uh, the logo for that reason I'm gonna move it back not slide up 
not slide left but slide right and same goes for this logo click and drag slide right okay and I don't have a button over here to do so um, but let's have a look seems good seems good there we go beautiful I can imagine why your client doesn't have this uh, this option uh, doesn't have Adobe experience design he still would like to see the app working well there is an, uh, a share option over here and that allows you to uh, create a link on the Adobe servers um, which puts it online it gives you a link and you can easily send the link to your client or to your colleague or uh, to somebody else uh, in order to preview it on their devices so that's pretty cool as well let's have a look inside of the browser it's loading up and there's my app inside of the browser or in the browser on your uh, mobile device and there you go it's the it works brilliantly so this is Adobe experience design a pretty cool tool pretty amazing tool um, I hope you like it as much as I do and uh, thank you for watching there is a great free course available on the Adobe Education Exchange about user experience and user interface design. Some pretty amazing teachers will guide you through the world of uh, UE and UI uh, rules and design uh, possibilities. Uh, there is a link to this course in the description below, so check it out, it's free and you can still enroll to this course uh, until the 22nd of May 2016. Thank you for watching.